I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting the takedowns right yeah. away. Fighters in all of MMA, and yet again, back on the proving ground tonight. Well, this is not your father's bantamweight division, right, DC? A lot of people would argue in this era, 135 pounds, 1 through 50 is the UFC's deepest division, and this is the champion who has emerged from that town. Yeah, it's a very tough weight class. I mean, you look at the top 15, and all these guys are so talented. But when you look at the champ, you can see that there's something different about him. It's in his swagger. It's in his abilities. It's in his idea that he is just so much better than everyone else. It's easy to poke holes in that unless you keep winning. And that's exactly what he's done. He's mastered the game. He's mastered the weight cut. He's got every skill in the book. Most believe it's going to take a Herculean effort to dethrone that champion here tonight. All right, with that, both fighters have now graced the octagon. They were locking the door behind them, ready to go with a crazy fight here at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas today. Referee Herb Dean will handle the action in the octagon. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training, and I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. settling in when it comes to his counterattack here tonight and again making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. Try to establish that jab. Nice punch to the head. Nice kick landed there by Lee. Great take on defense right now by the champ. Now some separation from his clutch position. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And blocks the shot there. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Lands a kick there with the lead leg. Nice work by Lee. Tries to take out the leg. Beautiful leg kick lands. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this I mean, guy. It's a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combination with the kick. Two minutes have gone by here, round one. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Cable <laughs> inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night that that landed. That was a big check. Slips the shot. Watch knees to the body. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. 
Just over two minutes to go. Well, it seemed an eventuality that once Marlon Moraes got to the big show that he would eventually be in a championship situation. Maybe the most powerful bantamweight we have on this roster and also lean back on that Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt if need be. Truly one of the most well-rounded, exciting fighters in this or any division. Misses with the right hand. gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. Oh, another nice combination there. Not sure if it was the three-piece and a soda or what it was, but he is in a flow state here. Oh, he is moving and grooving tonight. He's feeling good. Look at the footwork. Look at the feigning of the shoulders. And then when he starts, right, he may not go right away. But when he goes, it's going to be an extended combination. Watch for him to try to really set down the last punch to end this fight. Big kick lands. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Nice jab by Lee. Twenty seconds left. Sidekick lands for him there, champ. A lot of times that is used to manage speed. Huh. Round two is next. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready to fight? You ready. All right, yeah. second round underway. <laughs> All right, folks, here we go with our next round. And in terms of his output and his efficiency with his significant strikes in the previous round, you can argue that was the best five-minute stretch of his UFC career. Oh, absolutely. The best five minutes he has ever had. He was in a zone. Everything he threw was just landing and landing with vicious intent. He's got to feel confident as he gets off the stool for the beginning of this round. But Ice going for the head kick. He misses there. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Oh, nice jab tower for him there. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game. Watch out, that left is coming right behind that jab now. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Out of range with that kick attempt. Marais's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Great upper body movement defensively, slips another strike there, and offensively he hasn't been a wool beater, but defensively he's been strong. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away, but that's a testament to the head and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. Mm -hmm. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. 
every kick lands. But Isis now trying for the Kimura. Oh, he's got it locked in tight now. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Just loving it as the fighters, after an extended grappling battle, make their way back to the feet. Yeah, they're back on their feet. They spent a lot of energy on the ground. And these guys are going back and forth on the ground, and ultimately, he's gotten back to his feet to give himself an opportunity. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red, there's nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now, he seems lost to it. Under a minute now to go round two. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. That was a nice strike. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time, and it is showing in this performance. Marais' cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. You wonder if that's impacting his breathing by now. 15 seconds. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Oh, oh, round three coming up next. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. Just do not focus on the blood. Don't worry about the cut. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level for the first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Lee gets lit up by that straight punch. Slips to avoid that left. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Oh, he hurt a bad with the jab. Oh, there's that patented leg kick. Another one. Oh, beautifully placed with the hook there by Lee. But Ice is blocking well now. You see the fighter raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged nose. Man, that cut is just nasty. So if you're the guy who cleans up the canvas, are you, like, rooting for this so you have a job to do? I mean, you want to do less as possible. You want to just sit there and watch. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, you 
can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by Lee. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, hurt again. Oh, nice body shot. Oh, huge kick to the leg. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Well, as soon as he goes with that high guard, he pays for it to the body. You see the bruises really starting to accumulate now. In the beginning of the fight, you think, I gotta protect my head at all costs. Right now, I believe that this guy has to worry about his body. Look at how red the side of his body is. It's got to change something. Just out of range with the big right hand. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Back and forth we go. Oh, doing work with the jab. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Just missed on the front kick there. Marais's nose is unrecognizable. It is mangled. It is cut open. I think it's probably broken at this point in time. Surgery next week. But now we'll see if mentally, physically, he can stay in this fight. Right hook to the head block. 90 seconds to go now. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's going kick after kick after kick. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. One minute now to go in the third. He's got to start throwing now. Oh, great block there. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Rice is an absolute mess. Referee might have caught an eye of the ringside position right there. They might stop this fight. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. And there's that jab. 15 seconds. Oh, nice. We are headed to the championship rounds. Heading back to the corner now. Marais' nose has got to be broken. I mean, there is no stopping that blood at this point in time. And ringside physician probably going to come in and take a look. We'll see. All right, DC, we got a few clips of the damage done in that round. Can see where things really started to escalate. Yeah, really opened up that cut, John. The blows are just devastating. He's got to get out of the way more. I mean, if this guy won't do it himself, Somebody's got to help him. Yeah. Because you cannot keep taking these types of shots. You ready? You ready? Fourth round now. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five. And this is the... Oh! Let's go. Let's go. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Well, new round, same narrative. He continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous frame. Oh, my goodness, what a kick. Get right here. Oh, he's still here. He can't even stand. And 
the knee. Big right hand. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. All right, so the referee, yes, is going to step in here. He will call on the doctor to look at that nose that is unrecognizable at this stage of the fight. His nose is broken. I mean, it's turned sideways. The blood's pouring, going down into his mouth. It looks like he's having a very difficult time breathing. Yeah, and he wants to continue, but he will not be afforded that opportunity. So that is it. Fans don't like it, but the doctor has to protect the fighters. Let's get to the official decision here once more. Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight. Declared the winner by TKO and new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon.